Hello KVC Kids, welcome to your Sunday School lesson for today. I've missed you all so much, but I'm so glad that I get to share the lesson for today with you. So as you know, if you've been watching our Sunday School lessons for the past few weeks, we have been going through a series, which means a few different lessons, about how we as Christians can share our faith with others. So we have been looking at different Bible stories, which teach us how we can go about and witness, which means share our faith to our friends and our family. So before we get started on the lesson for today, I'm going to share with you how I came to know Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. So I grew up in a Christian home. My mom and my dad took me to church every week and I went to Sunday school and I loved Sunday school lessons very much. And when I was 10 years old, I asked my mom if I could get baptized. And she said that she wanted to explain to me what it means to get baptized. And then she would ask me if I wanted to accept Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior. So my mom explained to me that I was a sinner, which means that I did bad things, and that I needed Jesus to come into my heart so that I could have a relationship with God. So I told my mom that I wanted to pray a prayer with her so that I could accept Jesus into my heart and so I could have a relationship with God. So after praying a prayer with her, my mom told me that Jesus had forgiven me of my sins and that I could now have a relationship with God. After that, I decided that I still wanted to get baptized because in God's word, it tells us that we must get baptized um, to show others that we've put our faith and our trust in Jesus. And so at 10 years old, my Sunday school teacher, whose name was Karen, she baptized me at church. And that was a very exciting day for me, also very scary because I was quite young, but that doesn't mean that I couldn't put my faith and my trust in Jesus from a young age. And so from then on, I've continued to trust Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. It's been hard at times, but I wouldn't change it for the world. So if you haven't put your faith and your trust in Jesus, I encourage you to do it today because you can. All you have to do is take the blame for your sin. So tell Jesus, Jesus, I'm sorry for the things that I've done that are bad, that go against you. Turn from your sin. So turn away from those bad things and trust in him. So trust Jesus that he has forgiven you of your sin and that you can now have a relationship with God forever. So do that today if you haven't already. And let's see what we're going to learn from today's Bible story. Okay, KBC Kids, I hope that you all have your imagination brains on today because I am going to be acting as different characters in the story. So watch carefully as I show you what each character looks like. Okay, ready? Character number one. Our main character for today's story. Can anyone guess who they think this character might be? Jesus. Character number two. This is the man who had evil spirits living inside of him. Now for character number three, you're going to have to really use your imagination. This is one of the pigs that we will hear about in our Bible story. And our final character, character number four, who is me, the narrator, and I will be telling today's story. Jesus heals a demon-possessed man. Jesus and his disciples got into the boat and crossed the lake to the other side where there were no crowds. But all at once, they heard a piercing scream. Then scream followed scream as the sound came nearer to them. Ah! The disciples had heard stories about the mad, wild man who had been banished from the town to live in the rock tombs in the surrounding hills. No chains had been strong enough to stop the man from hurting himself. The disciples gathered together nervously as the man came into sight. His eyes stared wildly. His hair was tangled and his bare body was covered in bruises. Jesus was quite unafraid. He walked towards the man and at once the man began to run towards Jesus. He dropped to his knees in front of Jesus. 
the man said to Jesus, Don't punish me, Jesus. I know who you are. You are the Son of God. Jesus felt very sorry for the man. He knew that it was not his fault that he behaved the way that he did. It was Satan's evil power that possessed the man. What is your name? Jesus asked. My name is Legion because there are so many demons inside of me. Nearby, a herd of pigs was rooting for food on the hillside. Send us into those pigs, muttered the demons. Okay, demons, go into those pigs, Jesus commanded. At once, the whole herd of pigs charged down the hill, tumbling into the lake and drowned. Then the man knew for certain that Jesus had set him free from Satan's power forever. The wild look had gone from his eyes. He smiled happily up at Jesus. Jesus helped the man to his feet and the disciples took him down to the lake to wash his face and hair. One of them gave him a cloak to wear. Meanwhile, the men who had been looking after the pigs rushed off to the town to tell everyone what had happened and soon a group of sightseers arrived. They looked in amazement at the man as he sat calm and dressed, talking quietly with his new friends. But they did not welcome Jesus. They did not want this mysterious man who could send their pigs into the lake. Please go away, they said to Jesus. Without delay, the disciples returned to their boat. Let me come too, to be with you, Jesus, Legion begged. I need you here. You can serve me best by telling all these people how kind God has been to you and what he has done for you. So what do we learn from the story? Well, number one, Jesus' power is greater. We see in the story that Jesus was able to cast the demons out of the man who had demons living inside of him. And that may be scary to you, the fact that this man had demons and evil inside of him. But in fact, we don't need to be scared because we know that Jesus was able to take the man and free him from the demons that were living inside of him, which just shows how much greater Jesus' power is than that of the devil. And so we don't need to be scared of Satan and his work in this world because we know that Jesus' power is so much greater. The second thing that we learn is that Jesus wants to set us free. Jesus saw the man and saw that he had demons living inside of him, saw that he was captive by these demons, but Jesus was able to set the man free. And Jesus wants to do the same for you in your own life. We know that we are sinners and that we need a savior, Jesus. We have bad things living inside of us too when we don't have Jesus living in our hearts. And so we need to say to Jesus, Jesus, Please may you come and set me free from the sin in my life. And Jesus has already done that for us. He's died on the cross for us to set us free from that sin. And he wants to set you free today. All you have to do is take the blame for your sin, turn from your sin and trust in him. Just like I said at the beginning of my message. The third thing that you can learn from this story is that Jesus tells us that we need to go and share. Jesus told the man, Legion, who he had freed from the demons, that he must go now and tell all his friends and his family what God had done for him in his life. And that's exactly what we need to do as Christians. We need to be so excited to share the good news of Jesus, the fact that Jesus has set us free from the sin in our lives and that he has saved us so that we can have a relationship with God and spend eternity with God. That is the good news that we get to share with the world. And so we must be obedient to Jesus and trust him and listen to what he has told us to do, to go and share with everyone, just like he told the man who he set free from the demons to do. So those are the three things that we can learn from the story, that Jesus' power is greater, that Jesus wants to set you free, and that Jesus has told us to go and share. Thank you so much for joining us for Sunday School Today, KBC Kids. It has been so good to be able to share with you today. I pray that you have a blessed week 
work hard at school, have fun, and we'll see you again next week. Bye.